Flexible tubing has many options of how it can be altered since the tube is bendable and does not hold a solid shape. Our tubes are controlled by splines, so let's take some time editing and dragging the splines around so we can figure out how to edit our tube route. Let's start by editing this route that we just created in the last video. I'm gonna go over to the left, right click on our subassembly, go up to edit route, and now you'll see we don't really have a lot of points to be able to edit this spline at. Therefore, I'd recommend going in, clicking on the route sketch, and now I'm gonna right click and select insert spline point. So click at a few points along this line to be able to give yourself more points where you can alter your route. After I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click the check mark. And now I can go in and actually drag these points around to edit my tube however I want to. So you'll see if you wanted to try to route around some of our other different fittings, it's easy to do that just by dragging and dropping. And you can also change the angles and alter your spline in other ways, just like you normally would a different sketch. Now, there can be issues that arise when you do this though, in case you actually go and exceed or go under the bend radius. So let's create an error. Now, notice it says, local route spline radius is too small. This is not possible for our tube that we've selected to do. And now you'll see the parts that are still okay are in this patterned yellow and pink. And at the bottom, the part that has too small of a radius is in red. This might even happen when you're doing an auto route. It might not be able to find a solution for you that is within the bend radius that you required. So then you might have to do some manual editing to resolve that. All you'll wanna do is drag around your spline controls and get it back to a point where it's happy. This might include adding more spline points to be able to get more control, changing the angles of the spline, anything like that. But once it gets back to this pink, you'll know that everything is okay to continue and to exit out. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of my sketch and exit out and you'll see that it is back to a usable tube and we've actually made a larger arc this time in case that was needed for our specific design requirements. Now, just a couple other things that you can edit as well. If you right click on our route, you can go to edit route, right click again, and you'll see again some of the similar things that we had when we were doing tubing. You can add a covering, you can change the route diameter and anything like that. So let's go ahead and add a covering to this route. Now we're gonna use the covering library. Let's use a PVC electrical adhesive tape just for an example to see how it functions. You'll see it has a thickness in there of 0.2 millimeters, and we can go ahead and click apply, see that we have a covering layer there, and click the check mark. Now after I exit out of my sketch, exit out of the assembly, you'll see that we've added a covering to the outside of this route. It's changed color to indicate that this covering has been applied. Now you can see that we have a usable tube route and can move forward with our design. Next up, we'll look at changing this route by adding clips to our design to better guide our tube route. 